Good morning, everyone. So today I have something quite fun. I bought a lot of ephemera yesterday and I really haven't bought ephemera before, so I don't know a lot about it. So the researching of it is going to be the fun part. I do love it, uh, good researching. And so I'm gonna show you what I bought and I actually have not looked at this. All I've seen was the auction photos, but it wasn't, they weren't detailed. So we're going to look at this together and, you know, what I uncover is what I uncover. <laughs> I might find a jewel in this or I might find absolute garbage. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, whether it's, it's good stuff or not. So let's start. So first of all, I've got this, this box. So I guess it's like an oak box and it had a sticky note on it that said dad's cards. So, um, and what I think is in this is the trading cards. Unfortunately, the lock's been removed here from the front, but let's open it up and see what we've got inside. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so this is what I see when I when I open it up, oh dear. So it's a writing box, right? It's like for uh, writing, it's heavy. Wow, it's heavy. And it's got this little writing tray here. Let's see if I can show you it here. And it pops up, oh, it pops out. What's inside, is there anything inside? Yeah, there's something in there. What's in there? Let's see. Oh, it's like, Little paper animals. Oh, wow. Look at this turtle. Because I think some of the cards you can pop, like they, they had like um, perforations so that you could take the animals out, I think, of the cards. Well, we'll see. Very cool. So there's a whole bunch of, of these little animals. Hmm. I'm going to just set this down so I can see what else is in here. So the first thing I see is a letter. It looks like a letter, right? Let's see what's this. Again, I have not looked at this, so we will see what this is. It says Club 100 Newsletter, September 1990. Club 100 member Patrick, oh, well, I won't say his name was winner of a, the 1990 Fleer Baseball Factory set for our August draw on the 31st day of August. Well done. So I guess this is a, a letter. I'm wondering, is this a letter, uh, is this Club 100 people who are, who are 100 years old? Um, talking about people that have won prizes and found, yeah, it must be a collector's club of, of sport of these cards, a collector's club of these um, cigarette cards. Yeah, look at this birthdays and it lists off a bunch of birthdays, I guess, of members. And they're all before 2020 or whether well, this was 1990. Yeah, they look like they're 100 years old. Wow, interesting. Interesting. And they've got all sorts of information about buying sports cards and all of this. So ooh, I hope there's some sports cards in here. Because from my limited research, um, I could I found out that the valuable cigarette cards are the ones that are sports or have anything to do with military. Um and really it's based on age and condition. So let's see, let's see. Well, the first, uh, oh, so this looks like kind of a homemade book, doesn't it? Somebody's kind of, oh, it says nature. <laughs> Somebody's written in pencil. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. It's very faint in pencil, right? nature they've written and it's cute it's got two ruler lines so i can i guess i'm guessing this is some kids um some kids book oh things are falling out as i open it up 
So this is like the little the little animals again that they've they've taped and glued in here. Oh boy, it's it's yeah, things are falling as I turn the pages. Uh, let's see, there's the next page. So lots of animals that are glued on. So from my reading, this will not these will not be very valuable. Oops, I turn the next page and there's some falling out. But look at these ones that are glued in there. That's pretty cool, right? Some of those are pretty cool. Huh. I love the ones with the gold, like this wild turkey. A wild turkey. Can you see that? Very cool. This is what fell out. Let's see what fell out. Well, it's a business card. Somebody selling these cards. So there's a, what's that? A cardinal. Yes, a cardinal. So this is a Game Bird series, it says on the back. The back is neat too. Look at the back. Right? It's got a, like a description. Huh. So this one says, Cowan's Educational Pictures, Yellow Adler Tongue. Hmm. And this one, another one, Cowan's Educational Pictures, 24 different wildflowers of Canada. So I'm from Canada, so some of these will maybe be, you know, Canadian cigarette cards. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. <laughs> um, then this is the next page of this little booklet. Really fun, right? So this little booklet will be fantastic for upcycling kind of projects, um, junk journaling and so on, because the value, I, I mean, I'll check, just have to research some of these cards, but um, I, I'm assuming because they've been glued down, they're probably not very valuable because of the condition. So that's the end of that book. Oh my gosh, now <laughs> you have to see all the stacks, look. Stack one, stack two, stack three. I wonder if these are complete sets. The one because there's some that have elastics around them. There's another stack, and then there's lots that are just loose in here. Here's another stack. Look at this one. Isn't that cool? Huh. Canada goose, it says. Oh, even the, I think these these elastics are going to break if I try to even remove them. Let's see if they're in order or anything. Hmm, can't tell. Yeah, so I don't know if these are like a set or at least the ones that he, you know, he had of this set. But they're really cool. Look at these big ones too. These are neat. So some little guys. Man, it's going to take me forever to go through all of these, eh? Wow. But fun. How fun. So then there's this, these big Cowan's chicken cards. <laughs> oh, and there's a whole bunch of them. They're all chickens. And there's the next one. They're all chickens. <laughs> Oops, this way. <laughs> Still getting used to where the camera is. This way. <laughs> So those are all the chickens. And then these are all, what are these ones? It says, Cohen's Educational Pictures, different airships. Oh, these are airships. Cool. Should be that way. <laughs> Sorry guys, that way. And that one. Some of them are, yeah, some of them are horizontal. Some are, oh, there's another flower. So this is the downy yellow violet. <laughs> oh, more chickens, more chickens. So yeah, I'm going to have to sort of sort them and grade them, I guess, to see. And it looks like there might be some duplicates because I think we've seen some of these chickens before, haven't we? So I'll have to sort them to see, you know, if I've got duplicates. But I mean, I'm just, what I just showed you there is maybe hmm, a third, a third, if that, of what's in here. Oh my gosh, there are so many of these. I, I, how do I even show you? 
see if I can tip it up and show you. Oh my gosh. I think it's all full. It's full of all of these, <gasps> these cards. So that's kind of fun, right? I just got to dig a little bit just to see. Oh, these look really old. Children of all nations. Huh. So that first one says Afghanistan. Number one. Oh, it's number one and it was on top. So maybe this is, again, these elastics mean that they're a series. Yeah, it looks like it because here's number two, Alaska. So I'm hoping that that means, you know, that's a good thing. Oh, hey, Vintage Roots Collection. Sorry, I'm forgetting your first name. Can you type it into the uh, into the chat so I can remember, <laughs> I can say hello to you properly. Thank you, you're my first person to come see. I've just started looking at all of these really fun um, cigarette cards. Do you know anything about cigarette cards? <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping somebody comes in that knows, knows a little bit about cigarette cards because look at this wealth of them, like it's crazy. So that's a really cool little set. Oh my gosh, I'm get, oh my gosh, look at these ones. Look at these ones. So this is Lorianne. Lori Hi, Lorianne. <laughs> Thanks, you don't know anything? Oh, well, then you'll be researching with me. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to do quite a bit of research to figure out about, you know, what to do with these. These are so cool. I just love the graphics on them, though. Right? Really, really fun. Look at these stacks of fish. Yeah, really neat, right? I can see, oh, these are just so cool. I hate to almost break them up though, because I think it seems like they're in piles of like sets, but, but then some are just random, like some are just thrown in, right? Like random, wow. But I like these bigger ones. The bigger ones are really cool. So here's another set of bigger ones. Some might be frameable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, some very much could be framed. I could totally see them being framed really, really neatly, right? In a, in, in a, like one of those frames, you know, that has all the multiple windows. And maybe you can even get a matte cut to, you know, to frame some. Oh, I hope there's some really valuable ones. Oh, 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 what have I just found? Oh my gosh. Oh, I've got goosebumps. Scout series. So these, this looks like they're, and this says fries, pure cocoa and chocolate. Look. Even the back graphics, right? Super cool. But there's a whole pile of them. Right? So cool. Oh my gosh. And it looks like it might be the whole, whoops, the whole set of them. Oh my God. I hope those are valuable because as I said in the beginning, military or um, sports. So is Boy Scouts considered military? There's another stack with an elastic on it. Anyway, I could go on probably <laughs> for an hour. Oh, look at these ones. Ooh, I like those ones with the alphabet. So what does it say on the back? I'm sorry, I got to tip it. Oh yeah, so it looks like each one has tells you what it's what it is. So Y and Z. Oh, it, it, Y is for Yokohama. I guess that's a type of bird. A bird from the from the far east it says. And Z is for the zest. <laughs> Oh yeah, it looks like it's the full set of alphabet cards. Oh my gosh. You know what, these might be fun to use for um, a live sale, you know, when you need the letter. I might use these for, you know, letter A <laughs> for a live sale, that would be fun. Anyway, I have to, there, I'll have to move on to other stuff in this box because look, I mean, my God. Oh, here's some dogs one. Maybe these dog ones I can send to Patrick for his um, his sale, right? He's having a sale, isn't he? Uh, um, 
where did I get them? I bought an ephemera lot. That's what this is about. I bought this ephemera lot. It cost me about $85 Canadian all in for everything like auction fees, all of that. I had to drive to hell and half acre way, way out in the country. Beautiful drive, beautiful country to pick this up. But oh my gosh. So yeah, at the beginning I showed this, what I'm showing you now was all in this really cool um, writing desk, writing box desk. Now the box itself, you know, seen better days. Um, unfortunately the locks not working and it looks like maybe there was something like some kind of a brass something or whatever in maybe some his initials or something um but that's gone unfortunately and the lock's gone so that's too bad but it was full absolutely full of these cards and a really cool letter I've, i talked about the letter when i first started um so you have to go back to the beginning and, and watch that but i'll put all these back because there's more there's other stuff that i got in this ephemeral not just these cigarette cards and uh and I'll show you some of the other stuff. So what are you up to today, Vintage Roots Collection? Are you getting ready for a sale or a... Oh, sorry about that. I'm back. Something weird happened there. <laughs> I hope you see me again. Uh oh, dear. Can you see me now, Lorianne? I hope you can see me again. Just let me know. Because I've got some, oh great, fantastic. So here is my neck, the next thing. Look at this. Look at the box. Just the box is super cool, right? It's obviously really old. And it says, sweet and lovely. Very Victorian, right? Very, very cool. So what is inside the box? I have not looked at any of this. So I'm discovering it as you are. <laughs> Oh, okay, we got some some cards. Some, uh, this is cool, right? Best wishes for a happy anniversary. Are they new? Let's see. Yep, brand new, never been used. I don't know, is that good or bad though? Because sometimes it's kind of fun to see ones that have been actually used. Um, this one says it's another anniversary or wedding card anniversary wishes it says yeah these seem to be all new oh wow look at this one <laughs> remembering your birthday that's kind of fun right with cats and so on <laughs> candy box could it have been do you think you think that's a candy box might have been i kind of i don't know i kind of think it was four cards 
but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, sweet and lovely makes you think candy, doesn't it, though? You're right. Hmm. Oh, here's a fun one, too. I love how these, like, they have glitter on them. I don't know if you can tell. But what, what's funny is, like, I can run my finger, right, and I can really feel the roughness, like sandpaper. Hmm. Oh, it says made in Canada at the bottom, so they're Canadian cards. Very cool. There's neat, neat graphics there. Look at the sweet little kitty there. <laughs> wow, so there's a whole box of these unused cards. Oh, this one's cute. I'll have to figure out what, what, what age they are. Look on end, okay? Look on end. Well, nothing on any of those ends. Let's see if there's anything on. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, sweet. Sweet and lovely all sparkling all occasion cards. So, so that's what this is then. So this is a box of, that's why there's a whole bunch of unused ones. But it seems like, you know, they've got other ones mixed in maybe that weren't part of this original set. Um, like this one looks interesting. What's this one? <laughs> no, where's, where's uh, elderly poodle when we need her? Look at this, nothing but quality meats. <laughs> now this one says made in the USA. So, so yeah, so I think it's a, a mix of stuff, right? Isn't that neat? <laughs> One's elderly poodle's birthday. <laughs> Would love to send her that as a, as a card or something. How fun is that? Look, at there's a whole stack of them though. I'm not even look. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> Such awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be selling these. Yeah, they're definitely going to be selling these. These will be, I'm having my first um, um, Etsy, or not, well, I sell on Etsy. I've been selling on Etsy since uh, 2011. Um, but I sell mostly, uh, oh, not 2011, sorry, 2000. Yeah, 2011, about nine years. Um, and I sell mostly glass in China. That's where I started, and I've been doing that for, what, nine years now. But as part of these YouTube live sales, I'm going to be selling some vintage glass in China because that's what I know. That's, you know, that's my bailiwick. But, um, but I want to expand into a few other areas, and one of them is ephemera. And the reason is because in Canada um, – in Canada, you can send cards and things like that, um, even a stack, as long as it fits the slot of doom here. I think I've got the slot of doom ruler. Yeah, here it is. So as long as it fits within this framework here, it's quite inexpensive to ship. So we have this sort of special thing in Canada where we can ship things in bubble envelopes and things. So I can send, send these quite inexpensively, like under $5. Yeah, I love ephemera too. I do too. I always have, so I'm excited to branch into it. Look at this one. Sissy. <laughs> so I guess she's scared of the mouse. Oh, this one is funny too. Look, I'm high as a kite. <laughs> so these say sun, a sunshine card. And I said, as I say, they're all brand new. Which is really cool. This one, birthday wish for you. I love the funny ones though. I'm gonna have to sort these again and oh that's sweet. Hmm. Wow, this is awesome. I think I did well, right? Laura Laura Bemis. Does she like uh does she like ephemera? Oh, so cool. What else is in here? Okay, a, nice, a really sweet kitten. Oh, a Father's Day one. Now that says Carlton cards. So again, it's a mixture, right? There's like this one here made in the USA as well. So it's a real mixture of different. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I To thee I sing, it says. How fun is that? Oh my gosh. High as a kite, I know, right? 
Like we would never see that now on a Carlton card or Hallmark card. Please recover quickly. <laughs> so I get, I'm guessing this guy was a hundred years old. So I'm sure some of these cards were, are going to date back quite a while. Oh, this one's kind of cool because I don't know if you can see, but it, it, I'll try kind of tipping it in the light because it's embossed. So there's like little squares. I don't know if you can see that. That's cool. And there's this one with a verse. Hmm. Well, this one's got a sticker in the middle of it, but so it looks like, whoop, what's going on here? Oh, cool. Okay. So I'll have to try and see if I can get that sticker in the middle there. Gee, it's your birthday. Hope you go out and have a barrel of fun. And look at it, it opens up <laughs> this way. At least a quart. Ye old booze. <laughs> That is hysterical. Wow. How fun is that? That's a little boring, but there's some nice roses. Oh, this is a pretty one too. Birthday greetings. Oh, wow. Score of the century there. Jeez, I think I got my money on these cards alone. I don't know. What do you think? I have no idea how much these go for. So I'm going to have to do some research there too to see what the uh you know the value is okay so that's the cards then then and the cigarette cards then i've got this life magazine from kennedy kennedy president kennedy 19 1917 to 63 november 29th 1963 so it's the life magazine edition i guess when he was was shot oh gosh look at this look at the tvs whoops sorry i'm not doing a good job of look at the tvs in there <laughs> so it's the magazine so now again i don't know values here i'm gonna have to uh you know look some of this up wow Let's see if i can find another interesting image here where's the kennedy part Wow, this is a really cool life magazine. Hmm. Well, some of the pages are, are falling out, but super cool. Yeah, so the pages are kind of coming loose. But in the midst of history. So this is, I guess, the his funeral. Wow. Wow. So I'll have to look at that in more depth again. Fabulous, fabulous photos. Black and white images. This isn't Kennedy now. This is something else. But, yeah, I'd be curious to know how much this uh, magazine is worth. Mm -hmm. There's a cigarette ad on the back. Newport. <laughs> so that was in a lot. And then some papers. There's a bunch of newspapers as well. So the Sunday Sun. Yeah, I would think it's pretty collectible, especially with Kennedy, right? I think Kennedy's pretty collectible. They ride a flame into the unknown. Now these papers smell a bit musty, so I'm going to have to look into what I do about that. Um, I think that you can use baking soda or something like that, or there's... Uh, I think I can, um, or just put them out in the sun. Look at this one. Man walks on the moon. Man walks on the moon. So that's a, oh, it's a Vancouver sun. So that's from where I live, Vancouver, BC, Canada. So this is when they walked on the moon. Um, there's a whole, like, this is, I'm just scratching the surface. <laughs> so then there's another box. There's more papers and there's another box here. So this was in the top of the next box. So it looks to me like we've got some, some stamps here. Some stamps. It says January 1992 postmark. CCCP does not exist. Woe to Lenin. 
don't know what that means. <laughs> it's all clipped together. Let's see, it's like an envelope. Oh, I see, they're from Russia. <laughs> wow. I won't show the address here, but again, lots of Russian stamps. Those are potently used though. But then there's a whole bunch of other stuff here. It's Dogs of Canada. So that's sealed in the container or in the thing, it says 275. So they're 37 cents stamps, Canadian stamps. So, well, 1988, it says on the back. So I wonder if this is all kit. I actually collect Canadian stamps. I have for a while um, and then stopped, but here's an Expo 86. So we hosted um, Expo 86 in 1986. So that's a, a first day cover from that. Here's another first day cover. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of Canadian stamps. yippee dee doo da day I don't know if I'll sell those because I kind of, I. They say I have a bit of a collection. So a whole bunch of first day covers here. Um, now that one doesn't look. Cape Canaveral. This is cool. Look at this one. It's postmark Cape Canaveral. Florida, right? FLA. Is Cape Canaveral in Florida? I think so. It says the moon instead of says the moon instead of sun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, we call our newspaper the Vancouver Sun. Sorry, I didn't just saw your comment. We call the uh, our newspaper the Vancouver Sun. So that's why you saw sun and the moon there. Um, now this looks interesting. This is a canceled Seattle World Fair. Oh, interesting. So there, I won't, I'll put my hand over the address here, but very cool. So it looks like it was sent. Well, there, there's something inside here. What's inside? Hmm. This is fun. This is so fun. Oh, it's just a piece of cardboard. Just to, I guess, stiffen it. But it, it looks like, because I think what they do to sometimes too is that the, the postmarks or the cancellation marks are as valuable as, you know, the stamp sometimes. So they they do that. Oh, look at this. Souvenir pack of New Zealand stamps. Where is um, Nate from? Nate's from, isn't he from New Zealand? Yes, where this, the, yeah, that's what I thought. Cape Canaveral, Florida. Yeah, see here, there's showing, I'm showing myself as a true Canuck who doesn't know <laughs> US. Very important stuff. Some more, wow, a bunch of more first day Canadian covers. I'm going to have to research these and find out, right, whether what the value is because some of these are very, very old, I can tell, or at least from the 60s. And then what's this? Souvenir genuine use stamps of Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and East Africa. So this person must have traveled. Oh, and there's some really cool um, sets of butterfly stamps. Wow, so cool. New Zealand, yeah, okay. So maybe he, he would be interested in those. Because again, that would be cheap for me to ship to him as a little treat. Because um, I, I could, you know, almost ship that letter rate. So, and then there's, there's this. Oh, this is a souvenir of the 1998 Calgary Winter Olympics. So it's a, I guess it's just, oh no, there's stamps in here too. So I guess it's the stamp series for that Olympics. Brand new. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think I got my money's worth? I think so. Look at this. Really cool set of, uh, like, what do they call this? The uh, quarter panel or something? Uh, so these are 19 or 49 cents Oh, for the millennium. So that's not too old. 
So that was all in one packet and all in one sleeve, but there's more. So this is the next thing. It's an Observer magazine. I don't even know. Do you know that one? I don't know that one. But I get, it looks like it's a death of somebody. So I'm guessing maybe Kennedy again. Let's see. 60. Hmm. Can't see a date on it. Oh, Sir Winston Churchill's death. So this is the newspaper. So I think this is from, oh my gosh, there's all kinds of clippings in here. Um, and I think this is from when Winston Churchill died. Now, when did Winston Churchill, oh here, February, Oh, it's hard to read. February 7th, 1966. So I think that's what it says. Or 65. Wow. Wow. Again, I'll have to look at that. Here's some more. So this one's from 69. Oh, this is pictures of man landing on the moon as well. Can you see that? That's cool. Well, I'm going to, I can see what my day is going to be mostly <laughs> doing is, oh, here's another one. The funeral of Sir Winston Churchill. It's a newspaper um, from January 28th, 1965. I was born in 63. So this is when I was like two. <laughs> so yeah, so this is a, a Radio Times edition of when, of Churchill dying. Wow, people that love history will adore some of this. So here's the Guardian for Winston Churchill. Um, so Jan Monday, January 25th. It's all about Winston Churchill's death. Here's another one. Wow, they're all Winston Churchill. The Times. Was that the New York Times? Oh, the London, London edition of the Times. Wow, very cool. And then there's a stack, super thick. Oh, I guess it's multiple copies? No, no, it seems to be one new, well, no, it's multiple issues of Centennial Edition. So July 1st, 1967. Yeah, it's, it's a bunch of copies of um, when we had our centennial, Canadian centennial. Huh. It smells like mothballs, that does. Oh, look what's next. <laughs> now, Eaton's, um, Eaton's was a department store in Canada. And so this is from 1975. Huh? See if I can find an interesting page here. It's heavy. Boy, oh boy, it's heavy. There's some fun. It's got everything from furniture to, um, like, here's, <laughs> so here's some of the furniture it's advertising. So uh, this is like a mail order catalog. You could order your linens to be delivered. Um, wow. Oh, look at the furniture here. Look at some of this furniture. <laughs> That's totally retro, hey? Cool. What's next? What's next? A box. Nothing on the box, just a box. Oh, more um, cigarette cards. And it looks like they're they're kind of different ones. This one looks like it's from tea. Oh yeah, from Red Rose Tea. Yeah, it is. So Red Rose Tea cards in here, not cigarette. So maybe 
that's why they're separated out. I bet you the other ones are cigarette. And these are all red rose tea ones. What's next? This stack of Royal Opera House. Um, Royal Opera House. I guess they're the programs from the opera. From December in 1964. Again, I'm going to have to research the value of these. Oh, this is cool. It's even got the ticket stub stapled into the front. This person was obviously thinking of this as a collection. Really interesting photos. Hmm. All about the opera. So there's a set of them. There's like, how many? Gosh, there's got to be at least a dozen of these. And then there's something else in an envelope here. Woo, what is it? What is it? What is it? 19, it says 1964 to 65 London theater and opera schedules. That's what it says. So let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh my, so they're like pamphlets. Again, super cool. National theater, and they're all from the 60s. This is awesome. Yeah, so it's all their season program guides. Hmm. Wow, that's cool. Opera lovers will find this interesting, I'm sure. Um, I mean, even some of the ads are interesting. This one's for an Ivy restaurant, it says. Cool. Wow. So that's that. What's next? Okay, so there is a box. It's a really weird box. Don't know. It's got a hinge on it, though. Like, there's a hinge here. So I'm guessing it opens. Let's see. Yeah, it opens up. Hmm, I don't know what this is. Canada, 1967 Centennial regular, regular Issue Postage Stamps. Hmm. It gives a little bit of history. But I don't know, what would you use this for? It's weird, it's got a roller here. The top, squeak, squeak, sorry. I have no idea what that roller is for. It's very weird, I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to research it. If anybody knows, please tell me in the chat or in the comments later. Okay, here's an envelope. What is in the envelope? Oh, it's sealed. It says mint Canadian stamps from 70s and 80s. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh, stack, a stack, brand spanking new, vintage, 60s, Canadian stamps, so wheat, lots of duplicates it looks like, so I'll be able to part with some of those, that's awesome, wow, I did well, and this book, the next thing there's a rip there's a rip there what does it say stamp album oh it's a stamp album from around the world oh so it's an actual album doesn't look like there's a lot of stamps actually in here hmm. there's some every once in a while i see some stamps So there's some Great Britain. There's a lot in the Great Britain, India, Japan. Hmm. Wow, cool. So lots of, I guess, the, obviously they were a stamp collector. I think there was actually another lot of, of stamps, just stamps um, in this auction as well. 
Okay, so then there's this envelope like this. Christmas Noel. I hope you're finding this fun. I am like loving this. <laughs> there is nothing better than, it's like Christmas, right? Oh my gosh, here's another envelope of brand new Canadian stamps. Oh, just to give you a sense, that's, those are, um, those are quite recent, but they're, they're really collectible. These are the year of the animal, right? So every year Canada Post puts out stamps, like here's the year of the tiger, right? Um, and they're really collectible. Oh, look, Winnie the Pooh. Um, they're really collectible because there's lots of people that collect just even the, the year of Chinese astrology or Chinese astrology um, stamps. There's collectors that just collect those or Christmas stamps. Um, so I know that much that you know those are those should have some value. And this is a uh, what does it say? Children look at Christmas. So it's a Canada Post book. It has some new stamps in it. Hmm. So this is from, where's the date on it? Gotta be a date somewhere. Hmm. I'm guessing in the 60s, because the, the values are five and six cents. And that's usually around the 60s. It's weird, I do not see a year on here anywhere. Oh, you know what they are? They're kids art. Kids have actually drawn these stamps and submitted them. Because it says here, you know, gives the name of the person, how old they were. How cool is that? Yeah, but it's weird that there's no date. There must be. I'll, I'll have to look later and see if I can find the date on this. My gosh. Another envelope of stamps. Wow, some more. These are all brand new Canadian stamps. Brand spanking new, unused. Very. That's where the value is for sure. Canada blocks, it says. Okay, now these are used, though. Oh, no, some aren't. Some are. This is Canada blocks on this. So wow, if I can find a Canadian stamp collector, they might be having a birthday here with all this stuff. Oh, here's one of my favorite. I actually have a few of these. Look at this one. This is another year of, let me make sure it's up right, up right. Um, this is uh, the year of the horse. It's not gorgeous. I love the year of the horse ones. I, I bought quite a few of them myself because I just thought they were really, really neat. Like, you know, they're just, and the way they've designed them, right? Beautiful. It's like a metallic foil. Um, the horse is like a foil. Oh, look at the pig. Look at the ear of the pig. Isn't that cool? Oh, oh kid in a candy shop. Kid in a candy shop time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for checking it out later. I know I'm going on a long time, aren't I? Mm hmm. But do do, uh, you know, do check it out later because there's there, you know, there's quite a bit of stuff here. And I would love uh, to know if anybody's interested in any of this or how they think I should sell it. Should I sell it in little lots? You know, oh, here's another one of those Christmas. Oh, no, I guess this was all inside this, wasn't it? Cool. So this is all Canadian stamps. Yeah, and let me know if you like this kind of unboxing type thing, because I think it's quite cool, right? Especially because I haven't seen it. So it's not like I've sorted through this or anything like that. It's kind of fun to discover it together, right? Okay, so the last thing, oh, this is the last bit in this box, is this big album. And it's got stuff falling out of it. Again, oh, it's more stamps. But let's see, just a stamp album. And it's kind of a, 
uh, Chinese like um, tapestry kind of thing. Postage stamps of the Pe People's Republic of China. Okay, so now we've got all China stamps in here, it looks like. And they all seem to be grouped together. And it looks like it's um, it's brand new. You know, I don't know what they, they don't call them first day covers, probably they call them something else. Or like postcards. Well, no, I think they're still called first day covers. So that's a first day cover. Luckily, I know a little bit about stamps. Not a lot, but I do know a little bit. Look at that. So somebody's bought brand new stamps from China. There's a letter in here. I love letters. I love it when I find little notes or little letters, right? Because then you kind of get a glimpse into somebody else's life. Okay, so this says the pictures on the stamps are from the murals of now of the Dun Kang Mayo Rochers, also called the Caves of Thousand Buddhas in Gangsu province of the northwest China. They were Buddhist art of the North Northern Wei Dynasty, AD 386 to uh, 534. The pictures are making offerings to Buddha. And there's a dear King Beng Seng playing music in Heavenly Palace. Oh, so, so somebody has sent him. I'm assuming it's a him, I think. Well, I don't know. It could have been him or her. Um, this packet of, of stamps and then this little note explaining what these stamps are. How cool is that, right? Hmm. Oh, yeah, so here's lots brand new um, souvenir type collector, you know, um, booklets of stamps. And they're all Chinese stamps, it looks like. Lots of first day covers. It's really beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. To see if I know anybody that collects Chinese stamps, because this, these are cool. Another first day cover, just amazing. Now I don't know what year these are from. Now this is an envelope. There's well, quite a bit inside it. It feels like there's a big stack of something inside. Yeah, stamps, it says stamps, and it's like, there's absolute ton of stamps in here. Oh my gosh, cool ones too, like triangular one. Yeah, they're all in these little vellum envelopes. I don't know if you can even see through them. So that's really cool too. Wow, 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 wow. Well, <laughs> I wanted some ephemera to start selling. Isn't this, isn't this a way, you know, an interesting kickstart to my little ephemera, ephemera. I'll put this down here and put this away properly a bit later. Yeah, a bunch more first day covers and some of these, which are from the China, it says China National Phila, Phila I can't pronounce that. Philatetic, I think, corporation. It's those stamp collectors. Um, and there's a few of those. I've got a bunch of those here. Yeah, another first day cover. And then there's again envelope inside it with a bunch of stuff. Well, here's a coin. This one has a, a coin. I wonder if it's gold. <laughs> you think it's gold? Wow, wouldn't that be amazing? That's a uh, bronze, bronze medal. No, no million dollars. <laughs> no million dollars. But really cool stuff, right? I mean, I'm really excited about those um, cigarette cards, actually, the most. I mean, I love some of these stamps, but those cigarette cards are really cool. And the Kennedy, right? The Kennedy stuff, and that might be really worth something. I don't know. Kennedy and Churchill. So that's 
Yeah, there's more in here, but anyway, you get the sense that like it's like a ton of. So if you know anybody <laughs> that collects, yeah, look, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, it, Chinese, Canadian stamps. Well, there's some from around the world actually in this pocket. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to spend my day here, at least part of my day here, doing some research on some of this stuff. So what do you think? I'd love to know what you think of what I, you know, what I got for my money. So 85 Canadian would translate to about, ooh, 60-ish, I guess, US, um, something like that. I think I did well. I think I did well. I mean, time will tell once I kind of do some, some values. Hopefully there'll be a few, you know, starring pieces here that are, you know, more valuable than others that would easily, you know, get me in the black. Um, I'm going to have to put this away later. It's finicky. But yeah, I mean, some, you know, some of these pieces, like, so, you know, there might be some stamps here that are quite valuable, especially some of the new ones. Um, cool, right? Very, very cool. Well, thank you. Thank you very, very much for uh, watching this video. I'm sure most people will be watching this on the replay, which is fine. I'm just getting going a brand new channel on YouTube selling vintage um, glass china. But as I said, I'm going to bra branch into some of this ephemera because I can ship it so cheaply. I mean, the shipping cheaply means no um, tracking. So, you know, if it's something's valuable, we might have to bump it up a little bit to get the tracking. But still, it's it's much, much more reasonable, I think, for shipping uh, um, this kind of thing from, from Canada. So that's kind of the, the impetus for me to get some ephemera to, to sell as well. Yeah, so I'll have some fun uh, looking some of this stuff up and seeing. I have to dig really deep through that, that set of um, cigarette cards to see if I can find some that are um you know military or sports i didn't see them from a quick glance i think mostly this is not that so maybe whoever you know was doing the estate sale they might have taken those out um to take you know separately to to um somebody else like a you know an expert in it to resell those which makes sense i mean I'm still very, very pleased. I think I did well. So I will say it was gold, not garbage today. Um, and I, you know, it's, you never know. You never know. And it's all, sometimes it's worth the risk. Sometimes not. I have been burnt in auctions before where, you know, something I thought was really great when I got it, it was the condition was really poor, something like that. But, um, but I actually do enjoy these auctions. They do, they're kind of fun, right? Well, my mom knows. I loved a surprise box as a kid. And I, mom, if you're watching, you're going to be chuckling right now because I was a kid who, you know, if ever I saw a grab bag or a surprise bag, I had to have it. So she'll understand that this lot that I've bought is like Joni Paradise. So thanks again for joining me today, and I hope you'll come uh, to other videos that, that I've got. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and check that notification button, because I'm going to be going live spontaneously, um, but then have regular scheduled live sales the first Tuesday of every month. So the first one will be October the 6th, uh, but I, I'll be you know doing some fun things like this. Um, and actually, Vintage Roots Collection, I'd like you to email me. Um, I will give you my, my email is just vintageous at shaw.ca. Vintageous, my name, my channel name, at shaw, S-H-A-W, dot C-A. I'm going to have to create a little scrolling um, piece there to, to show you guys that. But um, and if you could, Vintage Roots Collection, you're, you're my first chatter. So I would love to send you some ephemera from today if you can tell me what was maybe some of your favorites. Okay. Love to send you a little surprise pack. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.